Send up, soldier. Well, hello there. You might be wondering where you are. Well, you're in a house. I took you here because you were badly wounded. You were attacked by a special force. And you were very, very wounded. But don't worry, you're safe right now. At least, as long as you can tell me who exactly the men were that tried to kill you. Close your eyes. It might not be a pleasant thing, but I'm gonna make you remember. Just listen to me and close your eyes right now. And open them. When I say to open them, okay? Remember, does this make you know? The gun is placed against your head, so no more missing for me. You might be safe from the men that attacked you. But, you're now here stuck with me, and I need to know. <laughs> of course you do not remember. Well, luckily for you, most of my equipment is somewhere else. Unlucky for you is that I have a bunch of equipment here that are used to make people talk. See, no knife means no sharp edges, which kinda cause for very clean cuts. But a scissor, a standard issue scissor might cause some significantly more pain. So, you think you still don't remember? Huh. Well, maybe a knife would be better and more threatening, don't you think, than a stupid scissor? Uh, you might remember. Just hold still. This might be stinging a little bit but that's the point unless you want to tell me who the people were uh, I thought so to say something good good yeah snake here a moment before you tell me I gotta call yeah yeah I've been currently interrogating him no no, I, I, I haven't. No, of course not, sir. I wouldn't hurt him before the words of. No, yeah. Yeah. Um. Yeah, 
this is kind of awkward, but you are the wrong person. Yeah. I do not know how to um, explain this. I, um, I, well, you are free to go. As long as you tell no one about 